not my favorite cocktail. And that just looks amazing. How do you know about that? And it is always a great morning when you wake up at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I am headed to Roaring Fork to pick up some cream for our coffee that we're having in the room. We are not fans of the Coffee Mate style coffee creamer, so I'm going to go get some half and half. Maybe also get some pastries for breakfast. And I think I'm going to pick up a refillable mug while I'm at it. So let's get this day started. These cinnamon rolls look insane. And these bear claws look amazing too. That may be what I end up with. I still wish they had some sparkling wine that I could have mimosas with, but they only have these Copa Vino things. And they also have some fruit and some yogurt parfaits. And then just your normal morning pastries. Croissant, chocolate croissant, chocolate muffin. Bagels. So I think I will make my selection. Ah, and after having um, some bear claw and cinnamon roll for breakfast, now, I am off to Animal Kingdom. Looks like they're doing some power washing around here, so it's kind of loud. But I took a shower and I've just kind of spent the morning just relaxing at the hotel. And now, as I say, I'm off to Animal Kingdom for a wild time at Nata Zoo. And I have just arrived at Disney's Animal Kingdom and I'm not going to have a ton of time here this afternoon because I was really late getting out. It's about 12.30 and we have dinner reservations at the boathouse at 4 and there's no bus from Animal Kingdom to Disney Springs so I'm going to have to allow myself time to get back to the resort and then back to Disney Springs. So, I probably only have about an hour and a half here, but let's make the most of it. Hi there! Alright, thank you! And we are in! Look who I found! Oh my goodness! It has been ages since I've seen Divine. Oh, look how beautiful. Divine, you are truly divine. Ah, I must say, I do love Animal Kingdom. It's probably the park that I go to the least, but I do love it. I've got to look at the sign and get my bearings for Dino Land USA because I am going to go play some carnival games. Who is surprised? <laughs> Let's see how lucky I get today. And now I'm ready to play some games. They're $6 a piece. I did not film the process for buying tickets, but I did cover that in my January series. So if you are interested, then go back and watch the video from Animal Kingdom where I say I win big. And now I'm gonna play some games. 
that we're ready to get started. So I'll be Let's go. Moves. And we'll begin in three, two, going to go back to my favorite comment crashers. Alright, I'm going to be a red this time. And here we go. Oh man. Alright, we're going to try blue. Alright. See if blue is my lucky color. You can go ahead. Get a small press, so that's the little Mickey Mini or Tricer. Um, let's do Mini. All right, I won this cute little Mini to go with the Mickey I got last time. So fun. I am having a little bit of a water break, and then I'm well, actually, I'm not really having a break, I'm just drinking water while I'm walking. And I'm headed over to Expedition Everest. When I checked my app, the wait time was only about 10 minutes. And I think I can probably get on the single rider line to be even less than that. So we'll see. Looks like single rider is open. So let's go. was awesome as usual and I did get in the single rider line but I didn't actually have to ride with anybody next to me they just stuck me in my own row so it's not super busy today now I think I'm gonna head back to the resort and collect mom and dad and then we're gonna head to Disney Springs for dinner at the boathouse okay I am now on the bus back to the resort I was only there for about an hour but I got quite a bit accomplished. I saw Divine, I played fun carnival games, and I rode Expedition Everest. And I don't know, some people probably think it's not worth it to go to a park for just an hour, but I think it's great, especially if you have an annual pass. So let me know, what do you think? Would it be worth it to you to go to a park for just an hour? Let me know in the comments. Now, next stop, Wilderness Lodge. Back at the Wilderness Lodge, it's always so nice to come back. It's so welcoming and peaceful. And now I'm just gonna relax for a few minutes before it's time to head off to Disney Springs. Let's see what mom and dad have been up to since I've been gone. We are on the bus on our way to Disney Springs. Are you excited about dinner? I am, I'm looking forward to dinner, yeah. How about I you, daddy, like... you excited about dinner? Yes. All I kind of right. like the sound of that strawberry shortcake. Well, we're going to have it in just a little bit. All right. We have made it to Disney Springs, and I think we are going to try to, to go ahead and, and eat. We're a little bit early for our reservation, but we're hungry, and so we're going to see if they'll take us early. And I feel like they will, but we shall go check it out. Are you excited? Yes, and the thing is... That I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> What's new about that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I thought Florida might change things, but no. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, we'll go find it. We'll go find the boathouse. Okay. And here we are. We've made it to boathouse. 
right next to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. And you know, that is one place that I have never been before. And I always say I wanna go in there because I love Indiana Jones and I think it would be super fun, but I just haven't been there. But this time we are headed to the boathouse for dinner and we cannot wait because we are very hungry. The only thing I've had to eat all day long is the few bites of uh, the bear claw and the cinnamon roll. And then I had a piece of cheese when I got back to the room after Animal Kingdom. And then a few bites of my popcorn that I got last night. So not much at all and I am hungry. So they could not take us early and we are in the gift shop just kind of perusing the goods and seeing what all they have. They've got some really cute magnets. And I do love a refrigerator magnet. Oh, that's cute. And that's fun too. Oh, that is a cute sweatshirt. $65, but it's really cute. Sorry I slapped you, but it did it says seem lucky like you ducky. never stopped talking, so I panicked. I'm trying Doctor to see what the back says. I sent you mine. We just laughed and laughed. I need bail money. That is really cute. If I can figure out how to see the back. It looks like there's not anything on the back. Okay. just says lucky ducky that's cute I like that and then of course they have the obligatory koozies that every place has oh sweet puppy that makes me miss my dog even though my dog looks nothing like it I have a multi poo and this is clearly a golden much cute merchandise. I'm going to look around and see what all else I can see. So we have gotten seated and we have a lovely view right next to the water and it looks so good. We are now looking over the menu to see what all we're going to order and this is going to be tasty. Okay for starters these are the oysters they have today. They do have the lucky ducks which is what I got last time that was so good. And I just don't know. I'm not sure if I'm feeling oysters today. All right, these are the cocktails. And last time I got the Duck Duck Braz. And I think I want to do something a little bit different this time. I'm not really sure. I also got the espresso martini last time. That was tasty. That strawberry gin fizz tastes, uh, sounds good. I might give that a go. Ooh, that coconut mojito sounds good too. Coconut rum, simple syrup, mint, and uh, soda. But so does the blueberry lemonade. Decisions, decisions. All right, my cocktail has arrived and I got the strawberry gin fizz. It looks very refreshing. That is not my favorite cocktail. I do like gin, but that is heavy on the gin. And it is not the slightest bit sweet. And I didn't really expect it to be too sweet, but I thought the strawberries might sweeten it up a little bit, but it's, it's not even as sweet as a gin and tonic. And I do love a gin and tonic. That's one of my favorite cocktails outside of a, of a good old fashioned or good Manhattan or another whiskey based cocktail, but not my favorite but I guess I'll suffer through it how's your bread it's wonderful it really is very good it's yeah. good bread yeah it is good it's bread. got some kind of honey butter on yeah, top right right how's your diet coke I have been doing a diet coke all day long this thing is good 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 how's your diet coke mm -hmm. 
How's your bread? <laughs> Are you tired of the dumb questions? Yeah. <laughs> tired of what? I asked him if he was tired of the dumb questions and he said yeah. <laughs> oh well. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, it is good food. Yeah, that's what he said. It's good food. Yeah. And we're hungry. We are hungry. All right, my salad has arrived and I got a half of a wedge because I also wanted an entree and I thought that a, the whole wedge would be too much. And then mom got the garden salad. And it's a small and it's pretty big for a salad. Is it good? Yeah, I'm sharing with daddy. Yeah, and then she's sharing it with dad because he did not get a salad. How is it? Our mains have arrived. Mom and I both got the filet mignon sliders. And we just got one slider, so that's a tip for you. If you want a smaller portion than the menu shows, you can ask for if they can do a smaller portion size, and lots of times they can accommodate you, just like they did with my wedge salad. And then Dad got a club sandwich. Is it good, Dad? It's massive. Yep, it's massive. Okay, we did order dessert. We have a strawberry shortcake coming to share, but I also got a blueberry lemonade to go. Since I didn't really love my cocktail, even though I clearly finished it, I didn't love it. I did want to get something and kind of end on a high note cocktail-wise, and so um, I'm, got, I'm getting that to go. We'll see how it is. Okay, let's taste the blueberry lemonade and see how it is. Much, much better. My neighbor here at the table next to us got it and she highly recommended it. And I would say I have to agree. This is so much better than the strawberry gin fizz. And I also have to say I'm loving these straws. These are marine biodegradable, but they feel just like, like plastic. And so it's not like the paper straws that then get soft and kind of deteriorate as you're drinking your drink. And then sometimes I've seen those straws made of agave and they kind of have a really weird flavor to me. I don't know if you've ever tasted it before, but these straws are fantastic. They feel just like plastic, yet they are marine biodegradable. So let me know, what is your favorite um, environmentally friendly, sustainable straw? Let me know in the comments what kind of straw you like. Okay, dessert has arrived. We got the strawberry shortcake to share. And that just looks amazing. We are ready to dig in. Okay, so I have deposited mom and dad on a bench and I am headed in headed into the ganachery. It's a must do for every trip. Have to. And I have to admit, I'm not sure if they're gonna let me take this on the ship because it's not gonna be in a factory sealed container. So we'll see how this turns out, but I'm gonna take the chance and get my chocolates and see what happens. Okay, so they have a milk chocolate pop and then they have the Haunted Mansion portrait bars, which is a box, so cute. Of four different flavors and then they also have a Halloween mini caramel ganache pop so I think I'm gonna have to get those for sure and then they also have a mini chocolate pinata and then the Donald candy corn chocolate pinata and those are really cute I'm gonna pass on the pinatas but they're very cute and as per usual, I ordered the box of 16, which is one of each flavor. You can get the box of 16 and mix and match, but I like all the flavors. Quick and question. I want to try all the flavors. Yes. Because the dark right now, you mm -hmm. can get it with the Jack Skeleton or you can get it with our traditional Mickey Mouse. Which one do you uh, want? Let's do the Jack Skeleton. Okay. And then we normally have just 16 flavors but we have our two fall flavors right now as well. So Ooh. this side has cinnamon and chipotle pepper. Mm -hmm. This side has the pumpkin chai and the sour apple. 
So mm -hmm. which of those four do you only want the two of to make the whole box? Because um, today we have 18 flavors instead of 16. And really, you actually have more than that because you have the Mickey or the Jack Skellington. Well, it's the same flavor. Same topic, flavor. Though. It's gotcha. Just a different, uh, okay. Topic. Well, let's go with the two over here. And which? What's over here? That's. It's either Jack Skellington or Minnie Mouse. It's yeah, the but same what are topic. the what are the different flavors oh, over there? Cinnamon and Chipotle pepper. Um. Yeah, let's get the fall flavors. Okay. Because I've had the cinnamon and Chipotle pepper before. Okay. They're all delicious, but. No problem. I just wanted to let you know, like, they all started today, so I'm used to saying 16, and today we have 18. Yeah, <laughs> and that's those two fall flavors that started today, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, let's let's hit up with that. All right. Any or actually, what you could right? do is um, just. Do you want two pieces? Yeah, of let's the other go two? ahead and get the other two as well. Okay. So I don't miss out. Thank you. No problem. And I stopped at this Happy Hound store to pick up some dog treats for Jasmine. I got her these old fashioned carob peanut butter swirl recipe dog treats. I hope she likes them. Okay, up next is Dockside Margaritas. And here is the menu. I think that seasonal margarita is what I'm here for. There is one that just started today. The seasonal margarita, I think, is going to be the black, the frozen black cherry and apple lime margarita. And this supposedly started just today. And it's got Patron Silver Tequila, Grand Marnier, Sweet and Sour Lime Juice Black Cherry Puree and Granny Smith Apple garnished with an orange wedge and a cherry. If that's what they have, I think that will be delicious and that is what I'm here for. So let's go check this out. I'm fantastic and I hope I'm about to be even better because I hope you're going to tell me you have the frozen black cherry and apple lime margarita. Well, I don't know how you know about that. Because I read the Disney Parks blog yeah, you must have it in. in the Seriously. Foodie Guide. Do you want sugar? Yes. They have it. Yay. Check that out. That looks delicious. All right, so I'm going to give this a go. That is good. That is very good. It definitely tastes like a margarita, but you get the tart from the cherry. And so that is really delicious. The cast member here just told me that this is the first one he sold and today is the first day they've had it. He's been here for about an hour and 45 minutes, so we're doing good. So we have concluded our time here at Disney Springs and we are on the bus headed back to the Wilderness Lodge. We are gonna call it a night because we are all fading fast. We may go down to the lake and watch the fireworks or we may just hang out in the room for the rest of the night. Either way, it's been a great day and we cannot wait to do it again tomorrow for our last full day here at Walt Disney World before we board the beautiful Disney Wish. So we decided to come down by the lake and watch Happily Ever After from the edge of the lake. just finished watching 
happily ever after from the lakeside followed by the electrical water pageant which is visible from all the resorts on Bay Lake and Seven Seas Lagoon. It's a classic. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the first time I saw it from the Polynesian and I think that was, oh gosh, it was the year of my parents' 25th wedding anniversary and I don't really remember exactly what year that was. But we were going to see the Luau at the Polynesian to celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary and we saw the electrical water pageant for the first time and it made us all so happy. And so every time I see it, I think about that. And like I said, it just reminds me of my childhood. And so tomorrow we have our last full day here at Walt Disney World before we head over to the beautiful Disney Wish for three nights to the Bahamas. And so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.